Hey, my YNR fans. Yes, you know what time it is. We have the full spoilers for this upcoming week, and it is crazy as usual. First, we see Phyllis takes a step too far. Victor hits Adam with a surprising and stinging assignment. We also see Adam begging once again for Sally's love, and Diane makes a shocking discovery. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless, and the bold and the beautiful. This is your full spoilers for the young and the restless for the week of September 25th through September 29th. And without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on this coming week. So we have a manic Monday, September 25th, and we got to start off with Adam as he's pleading his case to Sally once again. But trust us, she's heard it all before. I would be lying if I said I'm sorry that I kissed you. I loved kissing you. I am with Nick. What is it that you want? I want you to come to me and say, I may love Nick, but I'm still in love with you. Really, Adam, I mean, back on December 5th when you guys had sex with each other and wasn't getting that spark, or shall I say she didn't get that spark, she broke up with you. Why would you want to circle back to that again? How many times does she have to tell you that she want to be bothered with Nick? You're a Harvard grad. You're a handsome guy. Believe me, there's some other girls in General City instead of sniffing around Sally. Can we move on, please? You know what, Phyllis, I don't even feel sorry for you, but it's no exception for this upcoming Monday's episode. Why Phyllis takes a step too far, even for her. And for those that watch the episode, if you're in Canada, you know what I'm talking about. Yep, Tucker wants her to make Billy look like he embezzled money from Jabot by moving money from Jabot into Billy's account. And she needs that $2 million, but yeah, she's about to cross the boundaries of all boundaries by setting Billy up for embezzlement. Also going on on Monday, Jack gets suspicious of Billy's motives. Now, we know last week Billy went rogue, especially with his conversation with Devon coming in between father and son. Jack did not like that, and it escalates even further as Billy talks about collaborating with trying to get information from Adam. We'll see if they can work this through, but he is on thin ice, especially now that Kyle is free. Kyle won his old job back. So, Billy, yeah, I don't know how long you're going to last in this position, but you need to stay above board. So now we move into Terrific Taco Tuesday, the 26th. Victor gives Victoria another stern warning, but he might want to watch his own words because she's been talking about trying to figure out a way to discredit her dad. Could it be through his actions? Remember, because last week she tried to question his sanity, and then there was terms of a contract that has been swirling around as a rumor mill uh, in regards to maybe how she can unhurt them out of that primary position. So we got to see. But yeah, it's not looking good with Victor and his protege. So now we have Mamie back on screen as she surprises the Abbots with a hidden agenda. Now there's also been rumors circulating that she was the one that bought Victor's shares out of Chancellor Wynn. Could that be the hidden agenda? Also, that means that that would hold the key to Devon's and Lily's unanswered questions. Now moves us into wonderful hump day, Wednesday the 27th, as we see Mamie interrogates Nate the Snake with her finely tuned BS detector. So yeah, Nate, you're put on the hot seat. And it looked like also on Wednesday, Nate is not going to catch a break because Victor hits Adam with a surprising and stinging assignment. Now, I remember Adam said that he wanted to start from the bottom and work his way up. Well, starting from the bottom includes him working as Nate's assistant. And when we saw that Friday preview, they did not look happy because, yeah, I don't think they even want to work together. So we got to see how that is going to work out with those two. Also on Wednesday, it looks like Victoria is trying to strike a deal with a very drama-weary Nick. Nick is sick and tired of the Newman drama, and he probably is not going to want part of any of 
of this as he walked away from Newman a week or so ago and ran with Sharon and her business as she separated herself from the whole Newman umbrella. Well, it looks like Victoria is trying to reel him back in. And yeah, I don't think Nick is up for that. So sorry, Victoria. I don't think it's going to work. Moving into what I should call throwback Thursday. Why? Because Phyllis is getting a surprise visit from an old friend, none other than Danny Romalotti. And yeah, I don't think it's going to be all sunshine and rainbows, even though they're talking about later down the road and the rumor mill that there's going to be this whole triangle between Danny, Phyllis, and Cricket. We got to see if that's going to act happen. But as for now on Thursday of this upcoming week, yep, her face does not look so happy to see Danny as Danny was really, really upset when he thought that Phyllis was a goner, six foot under, and especially leaving their son behind. So, Oh yeah, he probably has some choice words for none other than Phyllis. Also on Thursday, Tucker retaliates against Jack. And yeah, I guess, you know what? There's already that whole embezzlement setup for Billy. Oh yeah, there's some damage control that's going to have to be done. The question is, is Jack and Billy ready for it? And what is going to happen when he finds out that Phyllis was the one that assisted Tucker. Oh my God, this is getting ugly. So we got to stay tuned. Also, finally on Thursday, we see Diane making a shocking discovery. And I know that she is not going to be happy to see her man with Phyllis. Or shall I say her husband? Yeah, but what are they talking about? Because that also just pushing us a little bit forward into Friday. Jack and Phyllis are going to face off where sparks are going to fly. We need a referee on hand for these two when this happened. And I'm wondering, did Jack find out about the embezzlement scam? And especially since she had her hands in the middle of this hack. So, yeah, we got to stay tuned. Also on TGIF Friday Cliffhanger Day, Billy faces yet another another accusation. So remember, you know, Jack already said that he couldn't trust Billy. Well, with Tucker and Phyllis working together on that whole embezzlement scam, yeah, look like maybe that might be the expose when it comes to Billy. So, oh my goodness, can this man catch a break? But yeah, we got to stay tuned. And finally on Friday, Audra spills a secret. And we've been waiting for this bombshell to drop. I'm wondering what she has to say. I mean, this is going to be good. Now, she's the other only person that knows that what Tucker is up to. Could she maybe leak that? But remember, she's working with him. So maybe not just that. I'm wondering if it's something else. We got to stay tuned for this and everything else going on this upcoming week. Okay, so there you have it. Your full spoilers for The Young and the Restless for the week of September 25th through September 29th. All I can say is, wow, what a week ahead in Genoa City. Be sure to tune in to The Young and the Restless to catch all of the drama. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more exciting updates and recaps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.